Hello party people, what's up? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tori, thank you so much for being here today. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I'm having a eh day. I'm not wearing any makeup because I got a facial over the weekend and I'm doing a chemical peel to try and get rid of this acne. So I'm feeling very like vulnerable on camera because my skin isn't the best. But I'm also feeling a little sad because if I had planned this summer better, I would be going to visit my friends this upcoming weekend in Chicago for Lollapalooza. A great music festival and honestly one of my faves, but to kind of combat my feelings of sadness and major FOMO, missing my friends, you know, missing good music, I thought I would share with all of you some of my music festival essentials. I feel like there are so many music festivals coming up, so I really wanted to share with you all my essentials. This is kind of like a music festival essential slash a few of these are just like my summer must-haves. It's basically like a what's in my bag for festival season, but I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find this helpful um, and let's hop in. So I actually already pre-packed my bag to make sure that all of my essentials actually fit. And they do. This is a little sneak peek. I'm gonna take out everything so I don't spoil it for you all. One sec. So this is the bag that I have. I did buy it from Amazon. I will link it down below because I think this bag is actually perfect for music festivals and concerts. I got it this time last year when I was going to Lollapalooza um, and I've actually used it for so many concerts and show so many shows because so many venues, especially here in the United States, require that you have a clear bag. And at most venues, if it is a clear bag, there isn't really a size limit to it. I like the way this one kind of fits against the body as opposed to like a clutch or like a backpack where I can't really keep an eye on it. But it's super spacious so I can squeeze all my necessities in here as well as merch. I feel like nowadays, especially with like these rules for like clear bags, bags are not really like a really cute fashion accessory and they're not really like something that you dress up it's more of just like a literal necessity so, so. let's just start with the basics the no-brainers the things that you obviously need to have the first thing i have here is a water bottle i have this one from brain dead there's so many refill stations at like every music festival so stay hydrated please especially if you're drinking or partaking in anything else you gotta stay hydrated the next thing i have here is a wallet, obviously you have to have a wallet. Honestly, when it comes to music festivals, I feel like so many of them nowadays also do a lot of like cashless or cardless options. So you really only need to bring like your ID and maybe like a ticket for the Metro or maybe even just one card just in case something does happen. Also just a pro tip, if you are someone who has like Google Pay or Apple Pay on your phone, I would definitely recommend activating that before you go to a music festival in case you end up losing a card or you forget a card at the hotel or something like that. The next thing I have here are Purell wipes. I honestly recommend bringing wipes to a music festival as opposed to like antibacterial that you squeeze. I feel like these go a longer way. I feel like I love using these. Obviously, if you're like go to the bathroom at the porta potty, you can like wipe off your hands and then wipe off the rest of your body. Something about this and music festival just like makes me feel extra clean because I'm not just like rubbing the dirt in my hands. I'm also like rubbing the dirt off of my hands. So I have to have this. Um, the next thing I have here is a bag of extra masks. I have been to a couple music festivals during the time of COVID. I went to Lollapalooza last summer. I also ended up going to Outside Lands last year as well. And it was not difficult at all to keep a mask on, especially at Lollapalooza where it gets super humid and hot. Honestly, the last thing I was thinking about all the time was like, I feel uncomfortable and stuff. Like, honestly, I think it just gave me peace of mind when I was in crowds. So if you are someone who still is considering wearing masks, especially in like large gatherings, even if they are outside, wear a mask. Also just bring an extra one, especially for like getting home or wherever your home base is after the music festival. Bringing an extra mask, definitely came in clutch at Lala last year after it was raining after Miley's set, but me and my friends still had to take the L home or like after outside lands and we had to take a bus home. So you can never be too careful, I think. And then the last thing I have here that I feel like is a no brainer is a portable phone charger. I'm pretty sure my mom gave this to me for Christmas. It's just one of those random brands, but I love this one because it has multiple ports, especially for all my friends in case they need to charge their phone. Okay. The next ones are just more like random bits. And the first one that I have here are sunglasses and a sunglasses case. These are my current faves from Sunny Studios. And this is what they look like. Very cute, very cute. Obviously you need to have sunglasses because hello, you're gonna be at the music festival all day. Don't wanna be squinting all day. 
I'm someone who used to buy like super cheap sunglasses to wear to music festivals because I would lose them. Um, but now I'm mature and I'm grown and I don't lose sunglasses that often, but I still have to take a more cheap pair just in case, you know, God forbid I lose my bag or someone steps on it when you're like jumping around in the crowd. So cheap sunglasses all the way. The next thing I have here is liquid IV. Um, like I said, you have to stay hydrated during music festivals and my friends will tell you I've been the girly who's been bringing like liquid IV or basically like electrolyte packets. I really like liquid IVs. I know there are so many others but this one's kind of my fave because I love the flavors they offer. This one is acai berry. It's so good that I was talking about it on my TikTok and I asked all of my friends, I was like, can someone please give me the contact info of someone who works at Liquid IV because I love them so much and I feel like I deserve a discount code. Um, and I got a discount code. So the discount code is linked below if any of you are interested. Um, I believe it's like 20% off their site or something like that. But I love Acai Berry. I also love the Tangerine one, which I think is also like for immunity, I love the strawberry one and I really wanna try some of their like kombucha ones. That's like next on my list. I know some music venues like don't allow you to bring outside food and sometimes these get confiscated but sometimes if you just put them like deep enough in your bag, they don't really notice or care um, and they shouldn't care because it's literally electrolytes and it's literally keeping you from being like dehydrated and passing out and going to the med tent, so. Like when I be, I keep the I keep these on me all the time. Not even just at music festivals, but like also my daily life. If I feel like a headache coming on, or if I know I haven't drank enough water the de that day, I'm like, I need to take a liquid IV ASAP. The next thing that I have that's kind of random and I feel like also just depends on who you are is a film camera and an extra roll of film. This one is the Canon SureShot 105 Zoom. This one's actually broken. I need to find a new one because a few pieces came off, but that was my fault. I love to bring a film camera, especially when I'm like with all my girlfriends and we're just having a really fun time. And you gotta bring an extra roll of film. I like this one. I love Kodak Gold. This is one of my faves. I feel like these photos always turn out so like the perfect amount of vibrant that I love. And the last random thing is obviously the hair tie because you never know. Moving on to like skin care, sun care. This next bit, I wish to God was sponsored by Supergoop, but it's not. If I were going to a music festival this year, I would pack these three Supergoop products. This, this is like my favorite body sunscreen. I feel like it has such a nice feel on the skin and it really like dries up very quickly so you don't feel sticky or gross for too long. This next one I have is the glow screen. I've talked about this before, I think in like an old um, Summer Essentials video, but this, is my favorite SPF product for my face. It always makes me feel really fun and glowy. And when I go to music festivals, I don't wear a lot of face makeup. I'll maybe wear like glitter on my eyelids or something like that, but I never really put on foundation. And so I love re-upping and putting this stuff on, especially because you need to protect yourself, but also because it gives your skin a beautiful glow. I love it so much. And then this next product is a product that's new to me this year and it's the Super Goop Glow Stick. It's just basically just like a highlight with SPF. I just think this is like such a smart product, especially because the high points of your face are the parts that get the most sunburnt the quickest. And you can just like lather it on and gives you a nice little glow and it also keeps your face protected. I bought this during like their summer sale and I will definitely be repurchasing, but I've like barely made a dent in it. So I feel like this is gonna be in my bag for a while. I, I also always keep this in like any handbag that I have if I'm going out during the day, this is in there. <laughs> now that the super goop fake sponsorship is over, my three other products, the first one I have is a lip balm. I love this one from Kosas. I think like I've talked about this one before. It's their hyaluronic lip balm. It's perfect. I need to get a new one because I'm literally, at the, I'm at the end. It smells so fresh and so natural and I really like this as opposed to like bringing an aquaphor or like more of a liquid lip balm because obviously those will just get more disgusting more quickly especially if you're in the dirt and you're in the dust and stuff like that. A stick lip balm is very necessary I think. Right here I have a little mini like tester size of a fragrance. Just bring a tester with you into the festival. This one is from Byredo. It's Rose of No Man's Land and Oh, she smells so good. Oh, I just feel like you always need something, especially if like you're sweating all day, you don't want to be stinky. Um, 
nice. And then the last thing I have here is the Mega Babe Thigh Rescue Anti Friction Stick. This is my godsend. Mega Babe also makes a mini version of this, which I remember I brought last summer but I used that one up and I haven't repurchased because I haven't had a need to yet, but I love this stuff. I'm also like on the last nibs of this as well. If you're someone who has thick thighs that rub together or you just have places that like, I heard someone say the phrase ch like chub rub, but you have somewhere where it gets a little, a little frictiony, you just gotta apply this like once a day, maybe twice if you're sweating a lot and it saves you, like it really saved my thighs. That's literally everything that I would pack. If you are someone who menstruates, definitely bring some pads or tampons with you as well. Like I think that's the only thing that I haven't included in here, but you can always slip a couple of those in here as well. That's it, let's, uh, let's put it all away. video thank you so much for watching um if you have any other essentials that you'd like to add into your festival kits let me know down below if you're going to any please let me know which music festivals you'll be attending this year take care of yourselves thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next one bye